Soxy, where's your girl? There's your baby. There's the boss. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, it's a good girl. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is October 2nd, 2018. Uh, it is been raining a lot today again. Had a lot of rain yesterday, so uh, come home and it's raining, but it's warmer today. It's about 12 degrees warmer than yesterday, so I think we're right around 65 today, so it's not bad at all. So anyway, I'm going to kick this around and show you how overcast it is. So I don't even need, actually, to be honest with you, know what we've brought in today solar-wise, so we're going to take a look real quick before we start doing this video. But in the meantime, I wanted to just remind everybody real quick, Legacy is having the 25% off sale right now on all their products. So it is uh, definitely, if you're looking to add to your long-term food storage, it's a good time to do it. Yeah, even with it overcast today, we've pulled in uh, 1.1 on this one and 0.5. And we're at 24.9 right now, so that's not bad at all. I mean, for an overcast day anyway. So it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So anyway, yeah, so Legacy is having their sale right now. If you want to take advantage of that, you can go to my website, PrepperNurse1.com. Use the discount code when you check out fall of 2018, and you will receive 25% off of your purchase. So definitely a good time to take advantage of that. Okay, so let's get into today's video. So I got my little list here. Watch out, Saxon. So... We're going to talk about Yellowstone and Steamboat Geyser, what's really going on, okay? So Steamboat Geyser just went off again uh, on September 30th for the 21st time this year, all right? So we're, you know, talking about quite a bit of activity on there, and we're going to talk about the duration and stuff like that in a minute. But uh, so let's go do a little history first about Steamboat Geyser, okay? So first of all, a lot of activity this year with Steamboat Geyser. How frequently does Steamboat Geyser go off? Let's talk about that real quick first. Anywhere from the duration of four days, um, six hours and 45 seconds between eruptions, to nine years, 216 days, nine hours and 20 seconds between erupt or 20 minutes between eruptions. All right. So there's it can be dormant for a very very long time, and then all of a sudden there's activity. So the last time that we've had activity to this level was when, okay? 1982 was the last time we've had as much activity with Steamboat Geyser as we have had right now, okay? And it went off 23 times in 1982, all right? Before then, it went off uh, 22 times in 1965. It went off 29 times in 1964. And then it went off 26 times in 1963. So basically, since 1982, there hasn't been a tremendous amount of activity with Steamboat Geyser until this year. I mean, the most I think that it had in one year between 1982 and this year was three times it went off. So the increased activity with Steamboat Geyser uh, this year, is it something to be concerned about or worried about? Well, first of all, let's talk about uh, the average time of the, uh, the eruptions when Steamboat Geyser goes off. Generally, it lasts anywhere from 14 minutes to about 40 minutes. It can is that's the normal average. Generally, lower to the 25 minute range is like the longest that it, it goes off. Okay, so this year we've had increased activity, obviously with Steamboat Geyser. So the last five times Steamboat Geyser has gone off, let's talk about that real quick and how long the durations were. Okay, so the fifth time ago that it went off, it went off for 43 minutes and eight seconds. Then the second most recent, or the fourth most recent one, it went off for 55 minutes. Then the third most recent was an hour and 15 minutes. The second most recent was an hour. And then the one that just happened September 30th, it lasted for an hour and 15 minutes. So obviously that's much more increased length of time with these, uh, you know, between, if you want to call them eruptions, with Steamboat Geyser. Okay. So is that something to be concerned about? could be i mean it's de definitely something to be I, I in my opinion it is definitely something to keep an eye on uh you know with the length of these eruptions going off with the geyser and you know it's shooting you know 
hot steam and water and stuff up to 300 feet in the air. And for an event to last for an hour and 15 minutes, that's a long time. I mean, that's a really, really, really long time. So obviously a lot of increased activity. And like I said, this is the most activity that we've had with the geyser since 1982. There's a lot of things going on out there at Yellowstone that we're not being privy to, in my opinion. I think they're holding a lot back from the public. Uh, it's definitely very, very concerning. Uh, you know, with that kind of activity going on. And there's a lot of other stuff happening at the park as well that uh, is definitely increased my level for concern. Uh, I've watched Yellowstone, I'll be honest with you, probably for 20 years. They had the uplift at the one lake, and then it kind of stopped and went down a little bit. You know, you just... The thing is, with Yellowstone, if Yellowstone erupts, depending on the level of the event of the eruption... Even a smaller scale eruption of Yellowstone is going to cause a lot of damage, okay? Now, if it was a full-blown eruption with uh, Yellowstone, you're talking catastrophic damage for the entire world. Uh, there are, I think, I'm not exactly sure the number of super volcanoes in the world. We have Yellowstone in the United States, and we also have another one in California that, uh, you know, but Yellowstone is pretty much the most active one. Uh, there are other ones around the world as well. So, I mean, it's not a matter of if, guys, it's a matter of when. So I know people are going to jump on here and go, oh, nothing's going to happen, blah, 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 blah. Well, eventually something is going to happen. It's just a matter of when that something is going to happen. All right, we don't know. I mean, I, I make no predictions. I don't know when that's gonna, that event will be. But eventually something will definitely happen with Yellowstone National Park. Watching things like Steamboat Geyser, and other things that are, you know, with roads melting and everything like that, there's definitely reason for concern, okay? So, but it's something, like I said, it's definitely something to keep an eye on. But like I said, yeah, the Steamboat Geyser has a history. It's gone off, you know, obviously quite a bit in the past, but it's been basically dormant for quite a while as far as activity goes until this year. And it's in way increased activity this year. So, you know, and the length of the durations of each event is, or is getting longer. So, in my opinion, that is definitely something to be concerned about. Something to keep an eye on, for sure. Uh, you know, I definitely want to hear your guys' feedback. I want to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, you know, there's always, you know, I, I, I love when people get on here and uh, they'll say to me, oh, why prep, why bother, blah, 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 you know. And, you know, we, we prep not just for major events, guys. We prep for all events. We have events that happen in this country all the time. We just had the hurricane come through the Carolinas, you know. Uh, caused a lot of damage, a lot of people suffered, you know, and stuff like that. So if you were not prepared for that event, now you're relying on other people to take care of you and to make sure that you're okay. I don't ever want to be in that position. I want to take care of myself. I want to take care of my family and not have to worry about somebody else relying on somebody else to take care of me. That's what prepping is all about for me, you know, is being as self-sufficient as I possibly can be. And plus living off grid, you know, being uh, in, in charge of my own thing. I don't have to worry about anybody coming and turning my power off because I didn't pay my bill. So, you know, that's, uh, that's important. That's important to me. But, you know, and that's why I do what I do. That's why I live where I live and stuff like that. So those are those are the reasons, you know, why we should prep. Uh, always trying to look out for your family first. And you prep for natural disasters, which we have in this country all the freaking time. All the freaking time. When I was up in uh, Yosemite in California recently on this trip, there was a lot of fire damage that I saw up in that area. So those are, those are events that could happen. And I've had people ask me about that in New York because that's something that we worry about here in New York. I couldn't even begin to tell you, I don't ever think I remember ever hearing about a forest fire in my area. Uh, it just really doesn't happen. Now, do they have fire breaks? Absolutely they do. Uh, the different areas, if you drive through, you'll see the fire break going up through the hill where they've clear cut that area just to make sure that if there was a fire that, you know, hopefully it doesn't jump over. But, you know, there's uh, a lot of that. You know, but the thing is, I can't remember when. We, we have so much rain up here, uh, you know, that really it's not something that we worry about up here, like as far as, far as forest fires go. But anyway, now, of course, I'm getting off track, which I have a tendency to do. So, 
Showing you the garden real quick here again. Uh, like I said, mom and the kids cleared out pretty much everything that was already done. And uh, the cucumbers are still going. We're still getting cucumbers. They're a pretty hardy plant. We haven't had a frost yet, so I just can't let them keep going until we have a frost. Me personally, I would have let everything else continue to grow as well until we had our first frost. But, you know, mom does her own thing and gets it in her head, and she was trying to help. So I do appreciate that. Anyway, so I'm going to jump off here from now, guys. I want to hear your feedback on this. Do we need to be concerned with what's going on at Yellowstone? Are we being told everything that's going on at Yellowstone? Uh, that's, that would be my question, and I don't think that we are. I think we're being fed what we're told to be fed. And, uh, you know, when these events are happening, it's one of those things, there's nothing going on here, look away, don't, nothing to be worried about. But I think there is things to be worried about. So that's my opinion. Uh, so I will continue to do what I do and uh, try to be as ready as I possibly can be for whatever is coming. But I can d guarantee you guys that something is always going to be coming, you know, uh, be it a natural disaster of some sort or something, you know, man-made wise. It's just if you look at our history, it's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. So anyway, uh, remember guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, oh, and just on cue, here comes the rain again, right? Uh, you can accomplish it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. So really remember that. That's important because negativity, people that are negative and they want to bring you down, they want you to be with them. They don't want you to be happy. Choose to be happy, okay? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Now the rain's coming again, so I am out of here. I'll see you later. Bye.